Hey everyone, this is Mary DeMuth, and this is Pray Every Day, where I pray through the Bible verse by verse. We are continuing our trek, our long trek through the book of Matthew, chapter 10, verses 5 through 15 in the New International Version, NIV. This is what it says. These 12 Jesus sent out with the following instructions. Do not go among the Gentiles or enter any town of the Samaritans. Go, rather, to the lost sheep of Israel. As you go, proclaim this message. The kingdom of heaven has come near. Heal the sick, raise the dead, cleanse those who have leprosy, drive out demons. Freely you have received, freely give. Do not get any gold or silver or copper to take with you in your belts. No bag for the journey or extra shirt or sandals or a staff for the worker is worth his keep. Whatever town or village you enter, search there for some worthy person and stay at their house until you leave. As you enter the home, give it your greeting. If the home is deserving, let your peace rest on it. If it is not, let your peace return to you. If anyone will not welcome you or listen to your words, leave that home or town and shake the dust off your feet. Truly, I tell you, it will be more bearable for Sodom and Gomorrah on the day of judgment than for that town. Mind if I pray for you? Lord, thank you for sending out the disciples. And in this instance, you send them out to the Gentiles, not to the Gentiles, not to the Samaritans, but to the lost sheep of Israel. But as your church is built, it is built on uh, the prophets, of course, and the apostles. But it is also a welcoming place for people like me who are Gentiles. And so, Jesus, I thank you that there is a place for all of us in the kingdom of God. Help us to look at people that way today. Help us to look at them and think, this is either someone in the kingdom of God or they have absolutely the potential to be someone in the kingdom of God. Lord, help us not to um, grow weary in praying for those who are far from you, but instead to keep praying, to keep praying, to keep seeking, to keep asking. Uh, We want to be persistent like that. We want to be persistent in prayer. We want to trust you for the people who we know who are lost. Lord, help us to understand that the kingdom of heaven is near. It's as near as our breath. It's right here. Uh, We are in the kingdom. We are workers in the kingdom. We are part of the kingdom. The kingdom isn't not merely waiting to heaven, uh, waiting for heaven. The kingdom is for here, for here right now where my feet stand on the earth. Um, And Lord, in light of that, help us to be agents of healing. Help us to be agents of cleansing, just as the disciples were when they went into those towns and healed the sick. We want to be like that. Help us to be people who are so close to you that we can pray bold prayers that vanquish evil on this earth. Lord, um, theirs was a was a, a, a task of faith. They were not to bring any gold or silver or copper with them. They were to trust you for everything. And Lord, um, we're no different today. We may have jobs or we may not have jobs, but you are still our provider. And it's not necessarily up to us. Of course, we are commanded to have the Protestant work ethic. Of course, we're supposed to work hard. We're supposed to provide for our families, of course. But you are also ultimately our provider because this earth is yours. Everything in this earth is yours. And um, you, as the scriptures say, own the cattle on a thousand hills. And so we can simply trust you. Give us that kind of childlike trust today especially for the person who's struggling to pay their bills today, would you not only provide, but would you give them the peace they need in the midst of their worry and stress and anxiety, that you see them, that you love them, that you're taking care of them, that you are going to be with them. Um, Lord, also I pray as uh, this is about um, going into a home and finding a person of peace, Lord, as we reach out to the world to find people like this, would you give us holy discernment about who those people are who are anxious to hear about you? And Lord, I also see how beautiful this passage is for difficult relationships. When people push against us and are constantly um, harming us, there's something really beautiful about that imagery of shaking the dust from our feet. Lord, show us. Sometimes you call us to be in difficult relationships and you call us to stay and be in the middle of them. Sometimes you call us away and you call us to shake the dust. So would you give us the discernment we need, um, specifically this month in March as we're you know, heading toward uh, Easter? What is it? Who is it that we are to pursue? Who is it that we need to uh, let go of or shake our dust 
uh, off, <laughs> shake the dust from our feet from four. <laughs> I guess that's probably not quite the way to say that. But Lord, we love you and we thank you for giving us the kind of discernment that we need and for loving us so much. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thanks so much for listening to Pray Every Day. You may already be listening to Pray Every Day on your Alexa device, but in case you um, didn't know, you can actually listen to this on your Alexa device. So you can go to Alexa Skills and Pray Every Day is one of those skills. And you can just ask Alexa to bring it up every day and um, your speaker can tell you this. So anyway, I uh, just thought I'd let you know about that. And you are loved. And uh, I really applaud uh, you for pursuing your relationship with Jesus Christ. It is worth it, friend.